Hello everyone, welcome back to Momentos de Tecnología, Technology Moments. In this opportunity, we're going to uh, watch a very quick video about how to configure port redirection in the USG, Unified Dream Machine or Unified Dream Machine Pro. We're also going to see how to configure point-to-point -point of a Ethernet connection in order for us to get a public IP address from our ISP. And we're going to, um, in the practice, configure a remote desktop connection through the firewall of these devices to one of your computers on your network. Okay, so basically what we're going to do, and remember that the RDP and the port for remote desktop connection is target of many vulnerabilities of Windows these days. We're going to go to one networks in the configuration tab of your unified controller, and you're going to edit the one or the wide area network connection and we're going to proceed with the information that your ISP has provided you. Uh, in this case, for the point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet, um, which we're going to use in order for us to get a public IP address, something that you may not need to do. This is just an optional process. Uh, if you're just here to see how to redirect um, the port, you can go a little forward on this video. Right here, we can see that uh, the address that the um, that the ISP has given us and has assigned us uh, is already been taken, has already been taken by our unified dream machine. Something that is very, very useful these days in order for you to uh, create direct connections, uh, redirect ports for your services, for your internal services, or, or many more things. We're going to undock right here the panel of the ports of the dream machine, of the configuration of the dream machine. And we can see right here that we can also, by hovering the mouse over these options, you can get more details of our internet connection, the IP address, the, the MAC addresses, the memory used, and many more interesting things, as you have seen in our videos of the remote, of the network controller of the Unify products. Okay, well, now we're going to see well, which one is the device that we're going to connect remotely to? So we're going to see right here, this one, uh, of course, is a device that has a fixed IP address. So you just make sure that the device that you're going to redirect the port has a fixed IP address. It cannot be um, dynamically assigned unless you make a reservation on the IP address, uh, the HCP server. Okay, so we're going to go to the gateway tab Remember that this has changed in the latest versions of the network controller. We're going to create a new port forward rule. We're going to put right here the name, a descriptive name. We're going to enable, very important, because a lot of people forget to enable. Right here, we're going to choose the port, in this case, the very vulnerable port 3389 that I have changed to 3391. Uh, the address that holds the service in inside our network and then we're going to choose that the protocol is going to be TCP. Enable logging in case that you need to make a follow-up uh, of the connections that have been made to this computer. And uh, you're going to mm, check right here that, his, that the, the, the Dream Machine has already provisioned all the changes from the network controller. This one is my cell phone and I am connecting through my mobile network to sort of simulate a remote connection. I here choose the IP address that the ISP has given us and I have successfully connected to my computer using a remote desktop connection thanks to the port redirection that I just configured in my USG. Uh, one additional thing that I wanted to share with you is that by the beginning of uh, our setup of the point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet connection, uh, we experienced a dramatic decrease in the, in the performance of our network connection. So we decided to look around. I really don't remember how I got to this page, but it is, um, it is something that I wanted to share with you, but that in case that you have the same problem and that you have been trying to connect through power point to point protocol over ethernet and your connection quality and performance degrades dramatically, you might need to go over here to the configuration of the port of the one port of the wide area network port and you're going to go to advanced and you're going to change the MSS 
clamping size. Right here it has to do with the, with the MTU size. And once we changed it from auto to 1452 as the size of the MSS clamping, it completely fixed our problem. So this is just that I leave you right here. Uh, I'm gonna try to put over here which one was the page that I found that solved our problem and you can read this from this website. Uh, I don't remember really how I got to this point. Uh, I just changed it according to the description right here and it fixed our problems. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it, you enjoyed it. Please subscribe as we are uh, currently um, uploading more and more content in English for you to have it available all over the world. Thank you very much again and see you next time.